The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge tried their hand at making bagels at the famous 24-hour bagel bake on Brick Lane, which was forced to shut down during the crisis. Both wearing face masks, the couple headed to the East London store to roll out the dough. Prince William also showed off his skills in the kitchen as he helped his wife. And today, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge couldn't resist getting their sleeves rolled up to make savory treats at the famous Bigel Bake Brick Lane Bakery as they highlighted how communities have coped during COVID-19. The couple, who have not appeared together in public since July, appeared relaxed during the outing and were said to be keen to shine a light on individuals and businesses who have gone above and beyond to help others during the pandemic. Kate rewore a 550 pounds pretty red floral gown by Beulah London for the appearance in the capital, with the dress featuring a bold white collar, and paired the stunning piece with nude heels and her floral mask. As part of the tour around the capital, the couple also headed to a employment centre in London Bridge to speak to those who had lost their jobs during the pandemic. The royals also travelled to the nearby East London Mosque and London Muslim Centre in Shadwell. And chatted to volunteers who cooked and delivered meals to vulnerable members of the community during the pandemic, and dropped off medication or grocery parcels. William and Kate also met those who benefited from the support, a project which has received financial help from the National Emergencies Trust, which has William as its patron. Kate and William also visited the London Muslim Centre in Whitechapel, shown how warm meals and medication were delivered during lockdown. The Office for National Statistics today revealed the number of UK workers on payrolls fell by 695,000 between March and August due to the impact of the coronavirus pandemic. Kate scolded Prince William for forgetting Princess Charlotte when he spoke about their children as they stepped out a series of royal engagements in London today. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge completed a number of engagements in the capital this afternoon. During a visit to the London Bridge Job Centre, Kate and William chatted to employers helping people find jobs during the coronavirus crisis. William said, "The children, especially Lewis, would love to come and watch that to see the diggers. They love it." But Kate added, "Don't forget Charlotte. She'd love it too." The Cambridges also met customers who are now jobless following the coronavirus outbreak and are receiving help to move back into work. People are going through difficulties. It was important to be frank and tell them life is not great for everyone. William and Kate's next engagement was to the East London Mosque and London Muslim Centre in Shadwell. The school rule that Prince George and Princess Charlotte are allowed to break. All across the country, children have been heading back to school after a lengthy break, and royal infants, Prince George and Princess Charlotte, are no exception. Writing about their return to education, royal correspondent Katie Nichol said in a recent Vanity Fair piece, "It's been an eventful week for Prince George and Princess Charlotte, who returned to Thomas's school in South London. William and Kate have been homeschooling their children since March, but they returned for the first day of term on Monday, September." She added that unusually, this year no photos have been shared, while Kensington Palace did not release any images of the children's first day back. George, who has moved into year three, and Charlotte, who is in year one, are said to be thrilled to be back at school with their friends, even though some activities such as swimming have been suspended. To be fair, we can totally see how it'd feel a tad awkward being addressed by your teacher as Prince George of Cambridge, third in line to the throne, when you're just trying to get on with your times tables. Kate Middleton was forced out of her original birth plan due to security risks. Kate Middleton is one of the most talked-about women in the world, making viral news with everything from her fashion statements "Hello Kate Middleton" effect to her public appearances. One of the subjects that really gets the world talking about the Duchess is childbirth, with royal women enduring a particularly public experience, from the whole world waiting to the photo call on the Lindo Wing steps. Kate has always been extremely open about the matter, telling Giovanna Fletcher on her podcast. Happy mum, happy baby. That it was terrifying. This week, it was the change to original plans with Prince George that made news, as it emerged that St Mary's Hospital, London, may not have actually been her top choice. According to unearthed accounts, 
Kate might have wanted her son to be born at the Royal Berkshire Hospital, as she spent a lot of her final weeks of pregnancy with her parents in Buckleberry, United Kingdom. Kate Middleton included two Black Lives Matter photos in an exhibition that Queen Elizabeth II said inspired her. The Duchess of Cambridge has shortlisted 100 images that tell the story of life in the shadow of the pandemic for ordinary Britons for her Hold Still digital exhibition. The royal family have not officially commented on the death in Minneapolis in May, which autopsies said was caused by asphyxiation as Floyd was knelt on by police officers. However, Kate's sister-in-law Meghan Markle made global headlines with an impassioned speech backing BLM in June, in which she said, "The only wrong thing to say is to say nothing."